Not me here. <laughs> I'll make a laugh anyway. But we start out a talk from, for those who came on after, we started out talking um, about what experience we may have this afternoon at the machine, in the, at the bank. Um, it wasn't my experience really. I actually observed somebody else's experience. It's a room I grew up with, blood clot, cho. Here, 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 here the, the book of file, uh, book of file, no? Somebody else have an experience in the machine where they made an ax for help. And the person where they had the door at the bank, the reason why I made a separate person because they have no uniform so I can't identify what, what capacity they occupy. But him there at the door and, per, and him actually respond for say the bank is closed and he can't help him. And he could have used the same energy for say, you might, you, you can't, you know your card get taken by the machine, but no, because the bank closed, nobody can do anything this evening. But if you come back tomorrow morning when the bank open, then we'll be able to take it out for you. Simple, simple, simple. Instead of every time I go to him and ask him something, I tell him again, brother, the bank closed. Right? I get instructions and I follow them. I follow the instructions. Mm -mm. Your CD was on the school room in, in NY Sunday CD that oh cool and we are say when somebody come to you needing help the same energy will it take for you for just simply put them down Antoinette you really not like me Jesus me think you know some things that we talk so can we like one another Antoinette not like me at all you want me going and then dirty thinking politics yeah. You don't have no, you don't have no ambition for me, girl. You don't see me, you don't see me happy out here. You are trying to suck. You come like a dementor. You are suck the whole life out of me happiness. Fling me near them the crab loose. You're mad. No, sir. You make me good. My dad used to call those kinds of employees ducks. The swans were the ones who actually went above and beyond to help her, even just to be kind or a decent human. Yeah. And you know, take nothing. You see, if you, if you even come and say, boy, I wish I could have helped you, but I can't. You know, love me, Anthony. Because if you don't love me, then never send me to go turn politician. You're mad. First of all, even the good people in me know we turn politician. CBDC will save. Jamie, I saw me know, I don't mean, like in real life. Hey, Jamie, why are you free? You don't care for my life? But CBDC will save us. Se Listen, there's nothing wrong with going digital. But a central banking digital currency is fucking dangerous. And anybody who don't know that, not using this. The brain is a muscle. You have to exercise it. Otherwise, it goes flaccid like any other muscle. You've got to exercise it. And you do that by thinking... You have to work your brain. Do start out with this only because simple, easy. Centralized banking is from the devil. I'm mean, never subscribed to religion. And you hear me, I say devil. Don't do it. Everybody for reject it wholeheartedly. You will not have to go to the bank. No, nobody will be disrespected. Oh, you think you're not gonna be disrespected? <laughs> okay. You fool or ass. You want to kick. Me wish me know in a purse, Angel Lovers. Alright, now me know say so you just want troll. Jamie, I don't like you. I really don't like you. I don't like Jamie. Everybody, boo Jamie. Boo Jamie. Hey, for every action, there is equal yet opposite reaction. Dear Jam Blackman, apply to the laws of physics. Yeah, exercise your brain, baby. It's a muscle you have to work it. Kindness is infectious. Hey, not nice to me like when I not block him. No, sir. He's not rude. All right, he might, he might say something I disagree with, but he not be rude. He not be disrespectful. So I have no reason for blocking. We can disagree. We just can't be rude to each other. Except if we have said things we normally classified as rude in a joke where we actually all agreed on like if we if if i decide the energy and we are say hey boy go suck yourself and he you know say a joke like one time i on facebook and i have a conversation with somebody who is a family member and i say sitting boy hey boy 
And he come and say, you're rude. You couldn't be referring to me as boy, blah, blah, blah. And a bunch of people rush down for me and start disrespect me. Them call me crackhead, them call me all kind of things. I'm a cousin, sit down there so just a watch. That me I say, hold on. So you're not going to say nothing. You're going to sit down there and watch him this me. But you see, because in like win an argument, I figure I say that of him energy. So you, just, you take it win anyway you're going to take it. So much so that you see some people come. I mean, I say, you know what's funny? The man here when I talk to you, know, this a, he's a family member, you know. This man here, I mean, actually related by blood, you know. I mean, I talk to him, you know, and me and him always talk. And because me, I say something now, where him diametrically opposed to, like, he, he, it, it, it really rub him wrong. So, he, and he can't find no fault with my argument, so he find a fault with my dialect. And I say, but, hey, boy, me man no girl. Nothing wrong with boy. We make it seem like things like that are, are some kind of violation. If, if somebody call you boy, it's not a violation. No, what are you? Whether some boy and girl, you know. And we body get old, but we are still the same boy and girl. And just think how stupid you are on the inside. Just think. Because you know, you know. You put on an adult suit and go work, you know. But you know, everybody else has see adult. But you know, say so you want to pick me. So if me say boy, where are you going so far? You never wear short pants. You never write in a double line book. You never write with pencil. And go so. And rub you till the page tear. So you go on so far. <laughs> And the people address me off. That me I say, blood clot. Look at this. Then they say, no, I can't hang myself. Oh. So true, you know, so I'm not afraid of them. I'm not business with them, you know. I'm business with you. Uh, oh, me see you. It's when you don't come and disrespect certain people. You can't come and this gay people. Me malice you. I don't care who you. Because you, you're, you might not agree, agree that they have the right for big gay. That is beside the point for me. That is not for me, that is not a basis for an argument. You can't come here so can't really diss a Christian when I trouble you neither, you know. That is not the basis for the argument. Whether or not I believe is the basis for my argument. Whether or not then then deserve respect like any other any other human is not an argument for me. That go without saying you are gonna get your basic respect no matter what. We can disagree. We can disagree from points where based upon emotion and opinion. But that we have the same right to all of the basic human rights, to all utility we put upon this earth. If you disagree with me upon that issue, but you still love and respect. And the fact that you have to qualify your love and respect is still as if they run in contravention to each other. I disagree with you upon that issue. Done. We disagree upon that. The love and respect shouldn't actually come into question because of that. But you see, because we base, we love, we, we're very conditional. So we can only love people if I love them, because I love them. It, we, we're very conditional about the way we love each other as humans. And we don't know if we separate the different spaces. So, you know, there are many different kinds of love. Because we love all humans. I not try to fuck everybody. So I know that the kind of love. I don't want amorous. I don't want intimate kind of love. But I do love all humans. On account of I love myself and I know that we are one. I can't love you. It's impossible. But I know everybody me actually want to be in close proximity to. Your love inspire. Yeah, everybody inspire. So many things that when we inspire, we don't want that. Peter Philip around me. I don't think unconditional love makes sense beyond your parents or kids. I lie you tell. Lie you tell. Because you see people who love people who wouldn't thief, who wouldn't kill. I eat the only thing that makes sense. See, hippie, they me right. But on a stray so far from reality, I will first that natural, bro. Uh, 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 and the first time I met her, she was far from reality. Uno. Love will save the world. If the world will allow it. And then the earth, I go find you know, a human, and I kick off. If me had the planet Earth, I could not have a long time. Think what I put up with you? Know? You just don't like the ways of some people. Me, me never like some of my ways. <laughs> me don't like some of my ways that I. 
You think me like all of my ways, every time I book one way, we don't like, I go try and fix it. And every day I go still find one way you don't like in yourself. If you're honest, if you look for yourself. So if you can't even completely please you, how you expect? How you expect somebody else to please you and you can't please yourself? You are not your ideal person. You do things where you're shame, huh? You do things where you regret. You do things that make you walk and feel silly or stupid. Can't wait until next week. We will know if the aliens are real. We can switch planet. All right. <laughs> none of us perfect, but we'll... No, no, no. Me never say none of us perfect, you know. Me perfect. Me perfect. Perfect. Um, I one time when you get that for me, me, me get that for a report, you know. And one of my family members that read my report and I say, perfect, perfect, perfect. Imagine that, perfect. And one next one say, oh, perfect. No, Vivian, perfect idiot. I think I got me one teacher I put perfect idiot. Let me tell you, see, lady, more and tell you this, you see. Lady will call me perfect idiot. I don't want to tell you nothing. I don't want to tell you nothing. Because I don't want to act in the same energy. You can imagine you put that power pit in the report. Perfect idiot. <laughs> oh God. We look at love the wrong way. We should love everyone. But we have to rate people for love them. So we don't have no love for strangers. Eh? Nah, you never fight. Fight what? Me. I ah, fight. They say me too argumentative. Cause when they come and say up, I make a look and she said down. Me go be like, excuse me, miss. I know that you said up, but I'm seeing right here at down. <laughs> and the teacher did not fuck for it, that. <laughs> How dare you question my infallible authority? I am an adult. You are a child. Like yeah. Somebody closer to the source of knowledge than you. You're there a long time and you influenced by the world. And me just a come. Me still have a little bit of my mother. Me, me juice for my mouth can and when me da come out of her. So me the closer to the source. You out here so long time. You're hardened. You forgot. You forgot. You make the world train you. I move with love but people think only manifests itself in being kind. No, so love can't only kind. All right, so hold on, hold on. So seed official say, Tanya, can I ask you a question? That's one. So you want to ask me one other question? Can you already ask one? She was obviously very threatened by you, even at such a young age. But I mean, I know. Because, I mean, it's a learning. If this is a learning institution, we set up with, with education system wrong. Because in a learning institution, everybody who set foot on the premises should have opened to learning. Everybody, not just the kids. Because yes, so it's an environment geared at learning. That means that anything where they learn, everybody can learn, right? Remember, I know everything, teacher know everything, you know. Because that's why we separate the, the, the subject them, you know. And we have somebody who teach maths over this, and we have somebody else who teach English. And uh, at secondary level, the same teacher not teach maths and English. Hardly. Hardly. That's because teachers who specialize in the arts not really do so good in the maths and sciences. People. And I didn't end up to teacher. All right, Lisa Marie said, I lost my partner last year. He was 37. I'm still in shock, but I'm learning to love again because I hated the world until recently, but I'm trying to heal. Wow, that rough, hush. Hush, you rough, you know? And out here, rough, you know, girl, may I tell you this? As somebody who in a dating pool as a single woman, rough out there, you know? As a, as a bat. <laughs> As a bad to blood clip, I thought, why am I even here for this to happen? But leading to love and care is helping. All right. You see, in, in other spaces, eh, when you want to talk some foolishness and lighten the mood, yes, so, yes, so it's a good space to come. I'd bully for other places too. But people talk, if you want jokes, me can tell us other places are better than this. If you want conversation, with you, my worked into it, yes, so work. Because as you can look on the live and see them people and me, we do this all the time. So my people are there come all the while. And 
I think we help each other. Because it's hard for all of you. Know. Nobody feel, you know, when you look at nobody and feel like they have an easier go. It's hard on all of us. I saw the world designed. Mostly for breakaway. So that we become more pliable, more, more malleable. That authorities can instruct we and get the most out of we and give we nothing in return. And, and that's why we end up how we end up. So heartbroken. Um, but we come here so and we... So seed, so what's the difference between source and channel? Me no know. Me did say something about source and channel? Me say source. Me not say nothing about channel. Channel are like on TV. <laughs> you don't ask me no, you know. <laughs> All right, you can ask me no more questions. Jesus, just wanted you to know that I'm seeing the world in a different way now. It is hard for us all. It's true. And the moment we start looking at each other and I think him have a better time, she have a better time, that's when it becomes even harder for we because we create one illusion for ourselves. We tell we say we are feeling and that is so wrong. First of all, you can't feel at life. If you draw a breath, you live. And that is to be successful at life. Because what is life? No, if you live. So if you live at all, then you are successful at life. And then we have to add on some different goals to it and say, all right, me, me know that me alive, I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to do this. Enough days doing the great lie, me nearly give in, but your post gave me strength. You give me back my strength. I'm <laughs> happy me could have do that, J -Tac, Jamie. We do that for each other. We do that for each other, but we, we, we give each other so many. We do... Original road boy, I people like you make some carny people go up and say Jaggy joke and I flop and now come off. Because if you sit down your son and talk and we a joke with each other different from go up and say go to stand up. Can you see some people out there bum and they not happy? I'm going to draw them one side and just hold their ears and be like, come off. <laughs> May I tell you something, man? We set some. Blood cleat goals and we, 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 we raise the bar sometimes so high that we even just look on it and make your neck crick. And, it, and that will make you feel like you feel or like you are feeling. It will make you feel, let me come back to this so see, let me just say that point here. It will make you feel like you are feeling because you keep on a look, you look at somebody else. And the thing is, you're not even seeing them because you don't know what going on in their life, you know. You assume something. You assume something. And sometimes them tell us something but a lie. And then you now start judging yourself on the basis of that. And that not apply to you. It can't. One second. Eh. It can't apply to you. Right? Everybody are, are, are walk their own apart. Everybody have their own journey. Everybody have their own unique set of circumstances. Because if me and you even stand up in this room. And something happened simultaneously to the two away. We have two different experiences, you know? Because relative to who I am and what's in my head is how me I go see it. So me and you can dare so have the same experience and I two, same thing happen. Same stimuli. Two different experiences because we're unique. So you're not to measure yourself against nobody at all. Really and truly just don't. And people are saying, how oh, you not do that? Because it's easier. You have to make yourself do that. For me, if you not do that, it's easier sitting here and not doing nothing. That's the easy part. If you measure against somebody else that hard, you have to first look on them. I don't want to see no fucking people. I don't care what they do. Them over there so I do something. Then, then, then go to the gym and go create one body to make sure so when they walk on the road, everybody compliment them. I don't need no fucking compliment. I don't need no compliment. So I don't have to do that. All right, what you are doing for? I want to be healthy. So now I contemplate for go work out, but I say, I just need just enough health for just be alright. I don't need enough health, I don't really need for rip to have no six pack and then something, because you know, I tell you you got to shoot. Anybody who has to catch you with a six pack, I don't want them. You know. Anybody who has to attract with my body, I'm really, really, really not interested in them. And people are attracted to my body. And people who can only entertain me for like five minutes. Because really and truly, what I crave for the people who are attracted to my mind. And them people are not usually really too into body. If you find yourself into body a lot, then we can tell you this. You really not have a, have a very superior mind. You're not. You're just not. That is it. I'm sorry. It's not a disrespect. It's just a statement of a fact. 
But my answer is so seed. No, you don't. It's something that comes to my mind. Last Sunday, I asked my 12 year old daughter the roots of every individual to find where they are from. Let me see what else come after that. Come more after come. So seed. Eek. I lose me, lose the thread now. Alright, so you ask your daughter. If your daughter young, 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 your daughter can probably give a more, a more correct answer than me can. We never got taught those life skills here in England. We were just made ready for the typical British work. Please, uh, every way. Tamika, I feel call you and I come off your life, yes. We have like a, we have, we have like a, sitting for you. Yo, let me tell you something, you see? Spiritual supplement, so seed, say, well, listen. Listen. I like people mind. No, I don't want to tell you I'm not so long as I tell you no lie and tell you I'm not look for some muscle and say blood clot. I'm not joking. I do. <laughs> but I know say beyond that, it will be a conversation where I continue because five minutes and then me, after I exhaust you for five minutes, what else are you going to do now? What are you going to do? I'm going to sit down and twiddle my thumb. I'm going to, no, you can't call in for explaining. Maybe one next time. But Maybe we can, you can talk to me in DMs. But I go sit down and twiggle my tongue. After you don't tell me about it, 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 it topical things that you talk about. Hmm? Hey, let me ask you this. Any one of you are subscribed to one, one streaming service named Gaia? Oh gosh. If you can, subscribe to Gaia. And watch some of the stuff. Alright, so there's this series with a pan guy and a medium where they are contact. Um big up yourself, Lisa Marie, you know, man, come back, man, I'm gonna talk again and when you want to teach me and teach me to. Yo, Pangaya have a series named Medium, and on Medium they're actually communicating with um what they call it, I know extraterrestrial or extra dimensional beings. And the one set of people I watch so far with them I talk to are some people named Pleiadians. Oh God, me love it. The conversation is so fucking mind-blowing. Like, I don't even care if it's a fiction, if, it, if, it's, a, if it's a figment of the human imagination. I don't care because the conversation is so... Yeah, Gaia. Pangaya, I watch... Well, I watch enough things, but right now... May I watch the medium series and it is oh it is amazing. I love it. I watch things where try to help me for expand my mind. Um try to help me for relax. Try to help me for meditate a bit. I try I want to learn for meditate. I can't keep my mind. My mind can't still. My mind I know if it's still. Okay, um Abraham Hicks. I love Abraham. I love Abraham. Where that about me? You think would I love Abraham? I love Abraham Hicks. Um I watch Abraham on um, YouTube. When last I learned something that just blew my mind and shift my reality. Every day. Every day. Ancient Apocalypse, I watch that too. I watch that, man. Let me tell you. Simple things blow my mind and shift my reality. First of all, these days, I start to feel... More and more convinced that we in some kind of simulation. Because most of our messy around me just can't reel. It just can't reel. Like, make it open to the, the possibility of me being wrong, but it just can't be real. You know? When we see the thing, like when we see some behaviors between people, when we see people deliberately and so purposefully go out of them way to pick the hard way, we say, no, this. Uh -uh. You are an NPC, you can't tell me nothing. Somebody have to program you right here so you want some limb block. You know, like when you play a game and you know, so when you reach right here so somebody have to walk out in your way and you have to go swing around them. Yeah, that. The, them, some people out here are just that. So you know, so they're going to do the feral you. And after a while, if you still get, still keep getting riled up by them, and you know, so you're really now, you, you know, in a game. 
Because typically when in a one game with obstacle, you you spend you know like when you play let, let me go back to go back to my age, um Mario. When you play Mario and you try to reach Bowser Castle. When you try to reach Bowser Castle, if you stop for focus on all of the different obstacles, your your likelihood of reaching are go, are go less. The the trick is for, for try to get around the obstacles. So we learn the shortcuts, we learn the easy ways, we go up into the clouds and we collect things and go. We don't we don't pick every villain for fight because really ultimately what we want to reach is a super villain. We want to defeat Bowser, right? If you if your 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 objective is for master this life, your objective is not for win every single battle. But for master this life, yeah, time run out by you. Your, your, your objective are for master this life. And mastering this life does not mean being able to do every single thing in it. Is It means, I think, because I don't know, so I'm not telling you categorically, you, dis, you can disagree with me. But mastering this life for me means being at one with it, being comfortable with it. I am not there. It means being able for for exist and not need anything to be customized to you for be able for 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 reconcile with every single thing without needing it for bend me don't know if my, my, my try to explain this Brit help me explain what my try to say imagine how depressed you would be without ever feeling oh god Listen, how many people you see who grow up in an extreme wealth and they end up at on crack it and then sit because there's no challenge. Without challenge, you're nothing. But match my idea of mastery, of mastering this life, is number one, for conquer my ego. Conquer my own ego. Ego is a deterrent. Ego is a stumbling block. And it costs me. It costs me so much time and effort and resources. I serve with ego, and we get nothing in exchange. Nothing. We don't get nothing useful from an ego. Um, you need to have a healthy ego, yes, but most of we have an unhealthy ego. Uh, you just have to put less attention to the problem of life. I don't. I don't see how put. You go see it, you know. And I like things that go disappear, you know. Like me right now, I have a problem with conquer my ego because my ego caught up in the war on the land. My ego caught up in the war there and, and, and my luck stuck and barrel invested in the war there. Like, how dare you? Them people are care. They, they're not no food. How the fuck you can stand upside of them and eat? And us, he said, they're not no food. And you are the one where disenfranchised them. Make them have no food. Me too caught up in that. Because the truth is, you know nothing to do with me. Make a right, don't hold on me. Don't hold on me. Call me when I come off. That if you do. <laughs> I remember I'll call you when I come off. I have about three calls for me when I come off. Lord God. Listen. The things that we get caught up in are really and truly our ego are it. On some level we feel like like our job for fix things. Like we superior to the mindset to cause the problem. Let me try to see if I can fight. Let me search. I search. Me I search and find it. Me not tell you if you come off, you know, Ramiro. The more I submit, me submit to the ego thing, the more I learn, I realize I don't know nothing on the grand scale. It humble me. Yeah, hey, it is very humbling when you realize how small you're being at this fucking universe. Um, and then you and then you wonder, is it my job really? Am I job? Which which one of them things I want me caught up in right now? Are my job? None of them. Perhaps my job is just for coming so and have the best life one me can possibly have. Because the reality is, no matter how perfect a, a circumstance or a perfect an environment you try to create for everybody be equal in it, it will never happen. It will never, ever, ever happen. You know, being able to accept, say, even when you raise the bottom, 
And no jokes now. No, why me? When you raise the bottom, 